Let's go. Let's go. We can be good neighbors. Let's go. Let's go. Why don't you give chance for the referendum? So that. Justice Binta Iyako of the Federal High Court in Abuja has ordered Senator Einaya Abaribe and two others who stood as shorties for the leader of the banned indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, to explain his whereabouts. Kanu, who was granted bail by the judge on April 24, 2017, was absent from court when his trial was billed to commence. His lawyer, Ifai Ejofo, told the judge that the Nigerian army was in the best position to produce Kanu after soldiers allegedly invaded the IPOB leader's home on September 14, 2017. The judge postponed hearing into the case until November 2017. The National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, has said inflation in Nigeria reduced for an eighth month in September down to 15.98%. The rate inflation of 0.03% points lower than the rate in August. A separate food price index showed inflation increased to 20.32% in September, up from 20 to 25% in August. MBS said the rise in price index was caused by increases in prices of potatoes, yams, and other tubers, milk, cheese, and eggs, among others. Democratic Republic of Congo was among 15 countries elected to the United Nations Human Rights Council for a three-year term on Monday, a move criticized by Britain, the United States and right groups after the vote by the 193-member General Assembly. While Congo was elected uncontested to the 47-member Geneva-based council, it still needed majority support. The country beset by renewed political and militia violence since President Joseph Kabila refused to step down in December won 151 votes. U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley, who has called for the Human Rights Council votes to be competitive, said Congo's election harmed the credibility of the body. Rescuers said at least 31 people have died in fires ravaging forests in northern and central Portugal over the past 24 hours after three people were killed in Spain in blazes sparked by arsonist and fanned by Hurricane Ophelia. In Portugal, Prime Minister Antonio Costa declared a state of emergency as some 5,000 firefighters fought some 30 major fires. The 31 deaths confirmed by Portugal's National Civil Protection Agency comes four months after 64 people were killed and more than 250 injured on June 17 in the deadliest fire in the country's history. Newcastle United owner Mike Ashley is ready to end his controversial reign after putting the Premier League club up for sale. Ashley has become a polarizing figure at Newcastle since taking over at St. James Park in 2007 and the sports retail tycoon has decided now is the best time to step down. Newcastle have been relegated from the Premier League twice in the Ashley era. Now Ashley, who paid £134 million for Newcastle, hopes to find a new owner by the end of the year, following the formal announcement of his sale plan. And that's the news.